Kalau anda kata tak ada Datuk Seri Anwar Ibrahim, who do you think is the can be the next Prime Minister? I mean, uh, we have uh, leaders like uh, Rafi Jirambi, who's the Deputy President. We have uh, Saifuddin Nasution. Uh, so I think if you ask me, those are the two most senior leaders in the party. Uh, next in line, I mean, among the vice presidents, you have people like Amiruddin, uh, Sha'ari, you have uh, the Iza, you have, I mean, I'm also one of the vice presidents. So I think in that sense, we are not staff of uh, talent uh, to to fill in lah, kalau, you know, uh, in the future for the party. Do you see yourself uh, prime minister in the next 10, 30 years? <laughs> Uh, well, I don't. I don't really seriously consider that. Uh, I think um, if you ask me, ten, uh, twenty years, uh, you know, after uh, maybe sometime as as a minister, couple, then you know, I would love to either run a bookshop or run a football club. I think that's more uh, rewarding. Uh, like you said, I mean, you know, the public uh, criticisms and whatnot. Uh, not to say that you you run a football club is just as bad, probably, but. Uh, is something uh, less taxing lah. Uh, I mean, uh, but uh, for me, I mean, we we have a lot of other talent in the party. How about next year? What's your plan in the party next year? Kah, the election, the party election. Uh, you going to defend your vice presidency, or do you plan to take a step up? Well, <clears throat> I mean. Um, Constitutionally, in the party, Datuk Sri Anwar has still uh, one more term to go because it's, there's a, a cap of three terms, right? So, uh, and I see him defending that position. Uh, and I think, uh, I mean, I think uh, Rafizi will also defend his position. Um, so, I will also defend my position lah, as, as, you know, so I, don't, I don't see myself. I mean, I think I'm already vice president. It's a big job as it is. Um, and I think uh, you know I'll focus my efforts there, uh, and um, you know, uh, and put my for the next party election, uh, you know, nothing beyond uh, vice president. Uh. What do you think about PKR being rejuvenation? Well, we have a good track record, right? So I think um, yeah. So people like myself, Amiruddin, uh, Rafizi, Li Kang, uh, a lot of us came in during the two thousand eight elections. We were in our twenties. And um, now, you know, Rafizi is deputy president. Uh, myself, Lee Kang, Ame, we are all night president. Uh, Fahmi is uh, ketua penerangan, right? So um, all I can say is that you know we have a very young lineup. Not many parties where you know you have uh, the deputy and vice presidents in their forties, right? Uh, not only that, if you look at uh, four youngest MPs that we have. The, uh, it's Dr. Taufik, Prabha, uh, Sadiq, and CM Chu. Three out of four are from Kaadilan, right? And they are in their 20s and early 30s. So we are still very, very strong in that sense. I, I think not many party produce young leaders like we do. Um, but <clears throat> I, I take it that you know, the, the challenge is that once you are more successful, and this is always a challenge, you know, when Dulu we were a movement, it was so easy. I mean, partly why people like me and all that, we came in because tak cukup calon, right? So it was easy to come in. But now the party is more established. We have one million members. Uh, you know, you go to ni, dia kau tak MP, dia adun, kau tak adun, dia adi majlis, kau tak adi majlis, dia kata kampung. So it's so structured, right? And that makes it challenging. So I think we need to keep up the process of rejuvenation of bringing new people in. One of the things that I, I'm, I'm starting this year is we are starting a, a program uh, like a Kaadilan Fellowship Program to uh, bridge the gap between people who are interested to be active in the party and the party structure because there is a gap. Um, I mean, not everyone, you know, they, they can, they know, they understand how to go through the politic cabang, ranting um, and all that. Uh, but they have the talent. And we have 1 million members. So we have a lot of people who are ordinary members, but they don't know how to make that, bridge that gap. So we are trying to do that so that we can continue to uh, draw in the best talents. Uh, because you have to understand that for Kaadilan, we have to be very strategic at this. Uh, because if we just let the quote-unquote free market uh, work, 
then you will just have say say you won't have enough Indian leaders or you won't have enough female leaders. Uh, and you can't blame. You say, oh, tak cukup because uh, tak apalah. Like, bila tak cukup female leaders. We can't do that, right? We we need to be actively involved to ensure that there's enough female leaders, young leaders, Indian leaders, uh, Bumi Putra Sabah Sarawak, Chinese, so on and so forth. So I think because we are a multiracial uh, party. So that is the considerations that we have uh, in order to continue to rejuvenating, uh, rejuvenate the party leadership.